Last year, fall, was the first time I came to the Maat Museum. It's a very impressive museum because it's part of this larger complex of the, uh, next to the power plant. And it's a private museum, but with a very clear focus on art, architecture and technology. And those are three things that we um, think about a lot ourselves in our practice. So it seemed a very natural mix. So I think for Beatrice, our practice was very much the embodiment of a practice of the 21st century of different cultural backgrounds coming together and also trying to always bring complexity into not necessarily harmony or confrontation, but just coexistence. So I think that was very much in line with what she's trying to do with the space and the program at the MAT as well. The Maat Museum is beautifully uh, located on the waterfront and has a very interesting roof which attracts a lot of people, mostly to just see the view. Uh, but the inside is quite closed and quite dark. So as soon as we got there, we realized we needed to open up this, uh, this space. How can we bring actually the public really into the building itself, not just you know, on top and around it? And so one of the first intuitions was, is like, where can we find daylight? How can we bring more daylight into the space, how can we make the building more open uh, to invite more people in? What's a little bit challenging of the mat building is that it's formally seemingly very dynamic, um, but it's actually quite static and singular because of this very swooping, uniformed gesture. The visitors to Lisbon, the tourists, they, they come along the river and they enter the museum from there. But we wanted to really also involve the city itself and the neighborhood of uh, Belém. And so by opening this, um, this new entry towards the city, it's, it's a very uh, clear you know, gesture towards the city to invite them in. I think what Beeline does very well, and we hope that it would be able to achieve, is it takes that curvilinear swooping form, but turns it on itself, it turns it upside down and make it to open up another entry so that suddenly the formal language that already exists started to become more active and started to become embodied with more agencies to open up, to create more complexity within. Beeline basically means the most direct way to, from one point to another point. For instance, he came home and took a beeline to the fridge. And so the idea of this intervention is in some way that it is a shortcut between these two entrances, but obviously it's not just a shortcut to get in and get out, but actually in the center of this beeline, we created this arena. When people go into that space in the middle, that used to be just a space too big to relate to the human body. The audience itself start to be able to engage at that scale and it makes the myriads of activities that Beatrice, the director, is envisioning that um, in this space to be possible. It's interesting when you get asked to do an installation like this, which is quite open-ended and quite um, free, um, to make sure you don't become the artist itself, meaning what we needed to provide is a space, a platform, a stage, a forum um, in which other um, artists and thinkers can come together and actually do their work. In that sense, I guess the Beeline is doing the same thing and allowing the mat to do the same thing as the museum always did the best, which is engendering and housing the cultural conversations in a new medium that is taking place at this moment. What we try to do with this installation is not to make it just a stage or just, um, say, a screen or just a room. So we're not so interested in creating an architecture that is very legible in its sort of functional sense. It's a very ambiguous form, if you want, a form that can take on different um, meaning or, and different use. Similarly, for example, in the tri colonnade project, we took this very simple idea of the colonnade and made it much more complex. In many of our projects, the idea of a canopy, this very simple architectural device, becomes um, a rich medium. So I think what Beeline does is similarly taking that idea of the void and turning it into an active agent that um, start to be pregnant with all of these possibilities. This intervention is all about how we bring people together and so we hope that soon, in a few months, we will actually be able to come there uh, and, and be in the space and be together with other people. Um, the, the nice thing of this installation, it, it's one that is not finished at the day of opening, actually at the day of opening it starts 
it li its life. Since March on, streets all around the world are abandoned. People were told not to be in the streets. But somehow the form of the streets, even without the people, still is broadcasting a place where people should be together, even when they're emptied. So I'm imagining in my head that as the beeline is constructed in this uh, corona time, where there's no one occupying it, uh, occupying it, but still the form that makes up the beeline, the bridges, the ramps, the steps, they are already forms that talks about a lot of people should be on it and passing through it. So I think the moment that was constructed, well, the moment that it will be constructed, it is already doing what it's um, supposed to do and it's already sending out that invitation through its presence and we just have to f wait for the moment where the invitation can be materialized.